In this video lesson, we're going to learn how to inoculate the entropluri test, previously called an enterotube. And the entropluri test is a plastic tube that contains 12 different augers, which allow us to do 15 different biochemical tests. And this is used uh, primarily to identify glucose fermenting gram-negative bacilli belonging to the bacterial family Enterobacteriaceae. And this test will usually determine the genus and the species. So the first thing we need to do is label the Enterpluri test with your names and your unknown number. And then we're ready to get started. So to inoculate the Enterpluri test, the first thing we do is remove the two caps on the ends by turning them counterclockwise. Don't touch anything underneath the cap at this point. And you'll notice that one end has a straight wire. That's actually the inoculating tip, while the other end has a bent wire, and that's the handle for inoculation. So what we're going to do to inoculate the entropluri test now is turn it so that the end with the green auger is facing downward that has the straight wire with the tip on which we're going to place the bacteria. We want to hold it at about a 45 degree angle. We want it steep enough that when we scrape off bacteria, we get the bacteria on the end of the wire, but we don't touch the plastic on the outside of the bacteria and contaminate the outside of the tube. So here is our bacterium, our unknown. And to inoculate it then, we're going to scrape off a little bit of bacteria. Then we're going to rotate it, scrape some more. Rotate it, scrape some more. Rotate it, scrape some more. So what I'm doing is rotating the entropluri test, and that allows us to get bacteria all over the tip. And notice I have it at enough angle that the wire is getting bacteria on it, but the plastic is not going into the wire. And we do that until we've worked away all the way around the entropluri tube. So now we have some bacteria on the end of the inoculating tip. Now we're going to go to the other end where the handle is. That's the bent wire. We're going to pull the wire all the way out of the tube. Then we're going to put it back in the same end. And we're going to put it in till it's sticking out about this far. Now if you look very closely, what we can see right about where the little tip of the glove is there, there's a little indentation in the wire. Right there. And so we're going to line that little indentation right up with the edge of the plastic. And then we're going to pull down on the wire and break that off like that. Now don't set that down, that's a tool for the next step. So once you've broken off the wire, we're going to screw the caps back on. It doesn't matter which cap goes on which end. Now that the caps are screwed back on, we're going to turn the entropluri tube so that the flat side is up and the paper strip with the label is away from us. Now you'll notice that when we're holding it in this position then, in the first eight wells you see these little U-shaped indentations on the side of the tube. What we're going to do is take the tool that we broke off from the previous step and on the side of the tube, not the top, on the side we're going to poke right through that U and what that will do is allow oxygen into the first eight wells for aerobic reactions. And then the last wells are not poked. There is no U there. And that will allow for anaerobic reactions. So once we've poked the, uh, all the U's on the side, then we're ready to incubate flat side down at 37 degrees Celsius. The tool, of course, you can throw in the biohazard container when you're done. 